Hey YouTube, I'm going to make a basic uh, wiring video on how to throw a spark, how to get your Chinese four-wheeler, go-kart, motorbike, motorbike, motorcycle, uh, whatever, anything basically Chinese with one of these, you know, 125, 150, 60, 80, 90, whatever CC engine you've got. They all have the basic components, if not the same components. Uh, and again, this video is just to show you how to get it to spark. It's a basic diagram for spark only. It is not intended for you to get on your bike and ride it around because there is no kill switch. I will show you how to hook one up at the end of the video, but this is just for basic troubleshooting techniques. If you put a little wiring harness like this together and you say, hey, I got spark, I'm going to go out and ride it, and you can't stop it and it runs into somebody's child or car or dog or tree or house, don't blame me. I told you at the beginning of this video, there's no way to kill it right now. So this is just basic getting a spark so you can maybe troubleshoot components. I am going to show you how to hook up a kill switch in the end, but as for now, just for spark. So let's start with the starter components. Uh, just got a, a regular battery here. Just it's big enough that I can use it several times on several things throw it on a trickle charger it's just what I have for my setup you may have something different anyway positive comes out goes to your starter solenoid starter solenoid comes out goes to your starter in between there the two poles there I've got an on off switch it's just a little box with a switch in it that's it Not, there's no magic in there I've got a ground wire hooked directly to the motor, chassis ground. That's it. Pop the switch, throw the spark. Hey, I got spark. Now I know all my components are good. Alright, well let's go to the components. There's really only four things on here to get spark. Your spark plug, your uh, coil pack, your CDI box, and your stator. The way I'm going to describe this to you is coming from the CDI box since most everything plugs in here. Now if you don't get spark after you set this up, check your connections before you do anything, before you go replacing your coil or your CDI. I mean it's free, it's simple. Just go over your connections, get a multimeter, you know, say, oh, okay, it connects everywhere. Good, okay, so now you know it's not a connection. Anyway, basically what we're going to do is I'm holding it this way because the way we're, I'm going to call this out is top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. So, just keep that in mind. Go ahead and put that back up there. We're going to start with your top right. Now, pay no attention to the color of these wires coming out of the CD, the color of them coming out of the CDI box. They're not going to match yours. The coil should, and the stator motor should. And as you can see, I've just hooked up little jumpers to, to make this happen. So, basically what we have here is coming out of the top right of your CDI box, goes to the black yellow of your coil, your coil comes out with a green wire, goes directly to ground, then it comes out, your coil comes out to your spark plug, which is going to throw the spark for you. That's it with your coil. We don't need to do anything else with that. Very basic. Your top left, coming out of your CDI box, comes down to your blue-white, coming out of your stator out of your uh, engine. It's your pulse generator I believe. Coming out of your engine and then that's that's what delivers the spark or starts the spark I believe. It sends the signal for the spark anyway. <clears throat> so that comes out of there. Then we're going to go to your bottom left. That goes directly to chassis ground. So bottom left, very simple of your CDI box, the chassis ground. The next, the fourth wire that comes out of there comes back to your stator. Right out of your engine, you can see, to your black and red. Nothing special there. It's just those four wires <clears throat> that come out of your CDI box that make this thing run. We'll go over it one more time. And I'll hold it in my hand this time so you can get a little better look, maybe. I'm not looking at the camera so I can't really tell if I'm mucking it up, but 
top right, black and yellow out of your coil up here. Your coil comes out green, goes to ground, goes to the spark plug. Top left, comes out of your CDI box. Top left, goes into your engine case, the blue white. The bottom left, goes to ground. The bottom right, goes to the black red, coming out of your case on your engine. These other three wires, charging wires, goes to your lights. Don't need to worry about them to get sparked. So guys, that's it. That's that's the basic uh, basic wiring for this thing to spark your spark plug. Again, don't hook it up in this configuration if you plan on riding it because there's no way to kill it unless you want to jerk, jerk that spark plug cable off that spark wire and that's going to light you up. I mean, that's not going to feel good at all because I've done it. So, I will show you how to hook up a switch real quick. Uh, there's, on the bottom of this thing, you have a little on-off switch. You know, one of these two hickeys. It's got two wires coming out of it. On the bottom of this, same orientation, right here. Hook up one of these wires. The other wire is going to go to chassis ground. So what that's supposed to do is when your bike's running, boom, you throw that switch into off. No more spark, no more fire. Your bike your bike doesn't run. You don't run it into the neighbor's dog, cat, child, tree, whatever. So anyway, guys, I think I've covered everything on that this time. Uh, if you like this video, if this video was helpful to you in any way, please hit that like button. It'll help me out. And subscribing would help me out too because I don't have very many subscribers right now. But you know, I'm new to making videos. Uh, if you'd like to see anything else on this thing, uh, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I may make random videos about putting something else together. I just, um, I'm getting into making videos. So anyway, uh, hit the little notification bell if you want to see any of my future videos. Uh, might be something worth watching. Who knows? Anyway, guys, uh, I really appreciate you watching this video. You guys have a good day.